Hey guys and welcome back to an amazing new Android video. In this video I will show you how you can use the Android 13, the new Android 13 photo picker to pick one or multiple photos in your app. And that actually also doesn't only work for Android 13, it actually works down to I think Android 10 or 11. And in this video I will show you the simple way how you can implement that in your app. So you can see the new photo picker looks like this. We can click on pick one photo and it will simply open as kind of a bottom sheet and we can select a photo, for example, this one, and we load it here in our JPEG Compose app. If we want to pick more photos, that's also very easy. We can just say pick multiple photos and then we can pick a bunch of these like here. Um, let's do this, click add, and then all of these six photos will be added here in our app. So will be very easy to do that, but you of course still need to know how. So let's jump into Android Studio, empty project as usual for these videos. And the first thing I wanna do is wanna jump into Gradle build.gradle app. And here, you of course need to make sure that on the one hand you compile SDK as 33 and target SDK as well. And then we wanna scroll down to activity compose and we need to upgrade that dependency to the latest version, which is 1.6.1. That is the version from which this new photo picker will be included in Compose. And we also want to add an additional dependency, which is Coil. Coil Compose, so just the image loading library for Jetpack Compose, since we will be getting the images as juries. And with Coil Compose, that's just the easiest way to yeah, just display an image jury in our, yeah, in an image composable. So we click synchronize now, jump back into main activity, and in here we can start to implement our basic UI. So on the one hand, what we want to have is, we want to have a state for the selected image URI. That will be the image URI when we just click select one file. And that will be by remember, mutable state off. And we set that to null initially, since initially we didn't pick a URI yet. Make that a nullable URI. We can alt enter to import get value and mutable state off. I'll enter again to import this and we can then copy this state, paste it down below. Here we say selected image juries. That will be the state for picking multiple images. Here we obviously get a list of juries. This time it's not nullable since it could just be an empty list. What we also assign here as the default state. And then in here we can now actually start building our simple UI. So this UI will just contain a lazy column. Lazy column, let's assign a modifier to make it fill the whole size of our screen. Fill max size. And then in here, we can put our content. On the one hand, we wanna have our two buttons which we can click on to select our files. The buttons will therefore be put in a row since we want to arrange these next to each other. We can make the row fill the whole width of our screen. And to arrange these buttons a little bit, we could also assign some horizontal arrangement, which would be space around. In here, in this row, we can say a button. When we click on this button, we want to do something which we, you know, which we don't want to fill out now. I will show you after building the UI how that works. But the text for that button is pick one photo. And the other button we want to have in our row is this one that says pick multiple photos. That's our first item. Then we will have another item in our lazy column, which will be for our, um, for the first, for the single photo we picked. So that will be an async image that comes from coil. And we can easily just assign our selected imagery here as the model. And then coil will render that image from that URI. Content description is just null and we can say the modifier is modifier fill max width and we can say for example content scale is crop. So we just crop it if it doesn't perfectly fit based on its ratio. And what we want is we want to have another block here which is items and here we just want to import this items block that lets us assign a list of items. We want to do that for all of our selected imageries. So for every single URI we selected, we then want to have one async image composable, which we can copy here, paste it right here, set the model equal to URI, and we already built our whole UI here. So how do we now get these URIs? That's now the interesting part. 
Well, that of course needs to happen here in our on click listeners when we actually click pick one photo. So here we kind of want to launch that photo picker, that new one. And we do this just normally with the activity results API, which we get like this. So we want to have a launcher, an activity results launcher, we say, for on the one hand picking a single photo and on the other hand for picking multiple photos. So we can say single photo picker launcher and that is equal to remember act, remember launcher for activity result. The contract for this basically specifies what kind of action we want to perform, what kind of activity we want to launch for this. This will be activity results contracts that pick visual media and that can also be used to pick uh, videos, by the way, not only to pick photos. We do it like this, so we initialize that. And in on result, that will be a lambda where we now get our URI that the user selected. So in here, we can simply update our local state. Selected image URI is equal to URI. And that is already our launcher. We can now copy this and do the same for our multiple photo launcher. Multiple photo picker launcher. And here, instead of the contract for picking a visual media, we want to say pick multiple visual media. And here we obviously don't get a URI. Instead, we get a list of URIs. So we can say our selected image URIs is equal to our URIs, like this. And then we can now use these launchers to trigger opening the new photo picker directly in our buttons. Or yeah, we can at least trigger that here. So here in the on click listener of picking one photo, we can say uh, activity, how did I call it? Single photo picker launcher that launch. And now we need a pick visual media request. With that request, we specify how the, um, like basically what we want to show in our photo picker. So if we only care about photos, if we want to see both photos and videos, only videos, things like that. In our case, since we only want to be able to pick photos, we only pick photos. So we set up our pick visual media request like that. So pick visual media request. Um, and here you can see we can uh, enter a visual media type, which is set to image and video by default. But since we only want images, we say image only. And then we can copy this or we can just type it again for our other button, where we can say multiple photo picker launcher launch. And we again specify a pick visual media request, which is image only again. And that's everything we need to do. So when we click on our buttons, we trigger our activity result launcher. When the user then picked our image, these corresponding on result callbacks will be called. They will update our local state. And when the local state updates, that will update our async image composables, where Coil will then load the corresponding URI into the corresponding async image. And here we obviously do that for every single URI that we have in our list. So I would say we just launched this on my device and check out how that actually works and if it works. Taking a look here on my device, that's the old app. It now launches the new one. It contains our two buttons, that's good. We can click pick one photo. The launcher opens, that's also good. We can pick a photo here like this one. It will load it, looks good. And if we pick multiple photos, we can also pick multiple here. So let's do that like this, click add. And we can then scroll down to see all of our photos the user actually selected. And the cool thing is this is fully backwards compatible. So as I said, I think down to Android 11 or 10, um, the same photo picker will also show up. But if you have a device running on uh, below that, then simply the old kind of gallery picker will show up. So this is yeah fully, this fully works with the old approach of picking photos. So I hope this taught you something new and you now know how you can use this new photo picker, which I think simplifies a lot and you don't need to kind of select the app. You want to pick the photo in, then pick the photo find it in your files. No, it's actually just a very, very user-friendly um, picker that you can use here in your apps to select some photos and videos. So if you enjoyed that, definitely also check out my premium courses in which I can just dive much more into detail than I can do here on my YouTube videos. You will find these all down below. Apart from that, I will wish you an amazing rest of your week and see you back in the next video. Bye-bye.